Staging a flash protest at the Kalani Woolworths on Saturday morning, Members of the boycott, divestment and sanctions group are unhappy the company is sourcing around 15 million rands worth of fruit products from Israel annually. We are saying to Woolworths, terminate those trade links with apartheid Israel. Stop trading with, those, with that apartheid state of Israel. Many shoppers were irritated. I think it's pathetic. It should be freedom of choice. Each person should be able to decide for himself whether he wants to go and shop there or not. I can't get into Woolworths now. And yet they're shouting, half of these people don't know anything about uh, Palestinians. Hardly any Muslims in this protest. Half this protest is being used for, in my opinion, a pro-Islamic agenda. After leaving Kilani, the protesters tried to make their way to Woolworths in Rosebank, but were arrested and taken to the Hilbra police station. Police arrested protesters for demonstrating without permission, accusing them of violating Section 12 of the Public Gatherings Act. But BDS officials claim they were incorrectly arrested. They should have arrested them at the store while they were protesting, and that makes sense that they were contravening the Public Gatherings Act. They were already in the bus and ready to leave. Woolworths confirms it sources less than 0.1% of its food from Israel. The company has chosen not to comment on their arrests, but did say that while holding no political affiliations, they respect customers' rights to make individual purchasing choices. In full compliance with government guidelines on products from Israel, they label all products originating from that country. BDS says today's events won't deter them from further protest action. Nicholas Bauer, Johannesburg. No